To a stage in, in 2019 where the business was 40 plus years old we had nearly 300 colleagues and we had 10 directors on the board and we wanted to provide a greater focus um, and a smaller board of directors so we restructured well, 12 months ago certainly the rug has been pulled a little from under our feet um, three months of, um, of covid related uh, disruption um, but our plans, we, we do remain as a group um, acquisitive. E even in that last three difficult months that we've all experienced, we, we have had some meaningful conversations about acquisitions. We are prepared in the next two or three years to spend between four or five million pounds on um, investment. Um, and some of the more day-to-day -day modest investments, uh, some plants and machinery, some factory extensions, Whilst they've been delayed by three or four months, they have not been aborted and they very much will continue. I think there was already that pattern developing of, of consolidation and, and, and groups being created, perhaps you might say Cornwall Glass is one of those, but, but ours was more of an internal um, uh, creation. But yes, I think consolidation with perhaps some of the national companies and, and maybe they will stick to their manufacturing roles and they will not have so many downstream um, sites. We may see some of the IGU companies uh, thin out. Um, there are some big ones in the United Kingdom. Um, uh, but that is difficult to feed those sort of size businesses. Uh, we won't be one of the biggest, but we hope to be one of the strongest. Customers certainly are buying more laminated um, and, and our toughening plant is, is busier perhaps than we would anticipated at this stage of the recovery. Um, so the processing side of the business is strong and, and we're putting out a lot of stock. It's been quite a, 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 a marked uh, jump in, in perhaps what we were anticipating um, back in March. I think what has been interesting is that uh, since since the lockdown in, in March is, is that although April hardly any activity at all towards the end of April and certainly into May uh, we have seen a, a significant increase and it, that probably has caught some of the float manufacturers out um, we've seen shortages they're real shortages I mean there is a real likelihood in the next two weeks maybe three weeks of price increases um, and um, I mean, we don't know what Brexit type of Brexit will have, and that may or may not affect some of the products coming in from Europe um, later in the year. But it's uh, yeah, it's really odd. I, I I think most people have been caught out in the last six weeks by by the what perhaps is described as a V shape. I'm not entirely sure it will be V shaped. I'm not entirely sure what we're seeing is sustainable, but it is. Um, it is fascinating to see how quickly things appear in certain parts of the market to be re, you know, returning. Some very, very robust negotiations um, with Sangaban and with Pilgrims and with Guardian and with AGC. But um, we don't wish to put all our eggs in one basket. Putting it all in one basket it would be dangerous. And of course, when there, when there are shortages, or personality changes or, or strategic management changes from head office um, we we don't want to be caught in the crossfire so I think I think we've got a, a pretty unique and a pretty um, healthy relationship um, with with the main suppliers